Taja Armory Park was packed from the moment the event started to when it ended. Families came with their children and were given an opportunity to celebrate or mourn the loss of loved ones who have passed each in their own way. The beat of the drums signaled the start of the procession of little angels. Children of all ages walked around Armory Park with their families to memorialize loved ones who have passed. But before the procession started, kids were invited to partake in various activities. Isabel Bartolucci was one of them. We're painting wings over there and we walked in and there was like a path of flowers and pictures and the very colorful things. The Bartoluccis are visiting from New Jersey and say coming to this event was at the top of their list. This event celebrates artistry, creativity, love, history, ancestry, and the things that make people who they are. And I wanted my family to be a part of that. Part of a day where everyone can remember loved ones in their own way regardless of what they believe in. It's a really special place. Loved ones are very special and they need some recognition and love. I am honored to be a part of this and to watch them create and learn and I know that they're going to remember this day forever. The 30th annual All Souls procession will take place tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. and the walk will start at Grand Avenue south of Speedway Boulevard. For more information on the route, visit our website, kagan9.com. Lustelia Caballero, Kagan 9, on your side.